Berghain November program is out. I feel like these programs are coming out a lot earlier. Is it me or is it feel like they? I feel like they usually come out the following months. One or the months in advance will be like on the tenth of the month that you're in. Usually, it's around then. But I feel like they're coming out a lot sooner. I wonder why that is. Hmm, who knows? Either way, November 2024 program for Bergen. Here's what they have listed and some of the things that I am thinking about going to myself and things that maybe you should keep an eye on as well. Um, the legendary DJ Hell, one of like a legit OG techno DJ. Um, I don't know. He must be like in his 60s or maybe at least at the moment. Um, he's still an incredible DJ. Still, he's, he's one of those people who maybe he's not the most technically proficient in terms of like crazy mixing things that you see on tiktok which the kids love but in terms of selection similar to like boris pin it like out of this world you know very eclectic um very far-reaching um kind of what people deem to be an open format dj plays loads of genres everything from synth pop to ebm to itello to disco to house to techno industrial it plays all across the board big fan of dj hell so dj hell's playing 10 years time passages featuring bin craig richards dj hell latris and nicholas Lotz. that's actually a really good line that's that, that's like minimal heaven in a way it's kind of it's kind of like a you know it's an it's an old boys club with the exception of maybe bin i don't know if he might, might be the youngest i think of all these djs but still that's a that's a pretty decent one there one for the lads that that kind of sounds like a uh club division air lineup i'm not gonna lie that's it's giving club division air this one but it's still pretty good um the following week the following saturday that's the first club night of November the 2nd of the 11th. This is a really good one, actually. We have Terence Fixima playing live of Robo Halal. Um, you have Maron, big up Maron. He's playing there. He's, again, he's been getting quite a lot more gigs there recently of recent years. Um, some people hate the Maron crowd because they hate the Earth State community crowd. But again, Maron's sick. You've also got Faze Fatal, Olivia Mendez, Sterak, Vincent Newman, and Virginia sick lineup again virginia is starting to play more in Bergheim nowadays um you know flipping between in and out of paramount and Bergheim, which is pretty sick so that will be pretty good to go and check out and face fatal sick dj personally for me um great productions as well so that would be a good one to go check um who's the other who's these guy i forgot what's his friend he plays with i feel like he hasn't played in a while i forgot his name the guy with the mustache who plays with face fatal sometimes and they're together in the, they're together in a group what's his fucking name i wish i remember let me just check his i wish i remember what his name is that's it, Pablo Boozy. Yeah, what's, hap what's happened to Pablo Boozy? When's the last time he played there? Maybe I'm I'm going a bit mad. What's happened to Pablo Boozy? I feel like he hasn't played at Bergan in a while. Um, let's check RA a minute here. Where's Pablo Boozy? Where is he? Where is he? Because he's fucking sick. I think I might have seen him play back to back with Face Fatal. Or maybe he was playing on the night that I was there during the fucking birthday. Either way, um, he's fucking incredible. Like, he's really fucking good. Um, I would say, what style? I'd say probably like a Gerd Janssen style-ish stylistically like a party DJ I'd say anything again from new disco to disco to house techno and stuff but he's, he's all over the place but I feel like I haven't seen him play Bergen in a long friggin time let's go to past events and let's get some things up on your list and see maybe maybe I'm bugging and he has played there before but I feel like I haven't seen him in Bergen in a long time maybe he's got a residency somewhere else that might be the reason why but let me see if I can get something up here and see if I'm bugging or not let's scroll down and let's do control f let's write berg did he play when's he played there play? no he hasn't played oh he did no he did play he played that uh a uh, a bite night a bitter bite night in when when's that last time he played in may but he hasn't been on a regular club night in a while then isn't it shit maybe he might play for the 20th anniversary in december because they have a 20th anniversary coming at berghain in December, maybe he might play there, but I haven't seen him. Yeah, he's not been at Bergheim for a while. So that bite night was okay. The last club night he played at was on the 13th of April of this year. Okay, cool. So he has played there before, but it's not been a long time. I wonder what's going on with his lack of inclusion over there. I wonder what's happening. I wonder what's going on there. Yeah, there he is. Pablo, see, that's a sick lineup. Ben, Gerd Jansen, Pablo Buzzi, Paramida, Roy Perez, Victor. Moxie also from the UK. She's sick DJ as well. She she's a good party time DJ too. So yeah, it's a good 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 lineup, man. That was in April. Anyway, going back to the list. Um, you've obviously got Face Tower, Panorama Bar on the second of of November. You've got a Davenport, Etap Kyle again. Ugh, Etap Kyle, man. He's not he can't make his mind up in it. Panorama, Bergheim, Panorama. 
I'm still remember that fucking cringy post that he put on his Instagram about changing things and a different approach and all this fucking sobbing and crying and emotion and just, all these lines of words about just you know playing house or playing techno and now all of a sudden look at him he's back in power on bargain he can't fucking make his mind up but he's a sick dj so i'll give him i'll give him a bligh you got somebody called easgy that's a nice name i like i like who's who's easgy i've never heard of an easgy who's who's easgy easgy soundcloud let's see who this person is i've never heard of an easgy who's easgy i like the name though easgy is that which one is which one is which is that the person there that one or the dj easgy let's see who it is easgy has illic this, this might be the person easgy right bookings easgy oh is the person turkish okay is it called esgi or is it easgy i'm not too sure let's say it's esgi um esgi has lilic esgi has silic has silic has silic embarked on a musical journey from age of six mastering it okay cool she's definitely gonna be a good dj djs that cl come from a classical background are never bad they always freakishly good production wise dj where it's impossible not to be good at djing the dj is the lowest form of musical expression right it's the lowest thing it's like everyone can do it it requires very little skill so if you have a classical background and you're classically trained and you can play a fucking instrument at the violin you're definitely going to be a good DJ. It's impossible not to be one. Um, as a resident DJ and booking manager of the Istanbul's esteemed underground venue, many mini music music hall, Ezgi has solidified her reputation as a pioneer in figure of electronic music scene. She appears in festivals worldwide, including Fusion Festival, Gabrick, Summer Contrast, Echoes of Argot. Notably in October 2023, she made her debut at Berghain Panorama Bar, and she'll be back in the DJ booth in May. Esgi captivates audiences of a diverse music section and continues pushing her boundaries. Okay, Esgi might be a bit of a nice one. Let's let's see this. Let's play a little clip from a mix from a vinyl only mix on Sunday. Let's see what this is saying. Pick up Esgi. Okay, Esgi sounds good. Yeah, Esgi the vibe. I like Esgi. I like Esgi. Pick up Esgi. Ezgi's good. Ezgi's sick. Ezgi's sick. Big up Ezgi. So I recommend you check that out. Out. Um, Kiki um, Kiki Lomo as well is playing there. Again, less said about her the better. She's fucking sick. Um, Marie Moxeria is playing as well. You know I love her. She's fucking amazing. So that's a that's a fucking good lineup actually. Bergheim room and panel room is full of fucking big boys. Um, Monty Luke, Baracko and Portable. So that's probably that's a, a big one to check out. Um, Toy Tonics night. Oh, that's a good night, isn't it? Toy Tonics on the Panorama Bar. Dan Shake. Oh, what's that one track that Dan Shake had back in the day that was everyone was going crazy at? Maybe it was a couple of years ago. It was, I think I was playing it a lot during my sets as well. What was that one track that he had that everyone was talking about? What was it? Uh, is it Cash? Was it Daisy Dance? Was it Daisy Dance? Let me see. Which one was it? Was it, was it Daisy Dance? Was it this one? Daisy Dance? Was it Burt's Groove? Cash? Oh, I forgot which one it was. The track that he had that everyone was going crazy over. Maybe it was a remix. But you, if you know, you know. Um, Dan Shakes Force, also good. Uh, G Lane, Genie, Capo, um, Capote, and Sam Ruffalo. Again, you know how much, guys, I love Toy Tonics. I went specifically to Berlin to go to a Toy Tonics night at fucking Club Ost. Oh, no, Oxy, I think, back in the day a couple of years ago actually that was fucking phenomenal so you know how much i love fucking toy tonics they absolutely smash it great party house kind of collective so recommend you check them out they're basically like the new less they're probably, they're probably the new more cool version of kind of music kind of kind of kind of not really but kind of pick up toy tonics um following saturday on the 11th of november you've got uh the club night you've got atta legendary guy behind robert johnson and shit he's playing Bo Williams, Bo Williams, Chloe, um, Francisca Burns, Lauren, Marcel Dietman playing, who had an amazing set, I think, recently on, I forgot what that stream was, I watched recently where he played, I forgot where it was, somewhere in Europe, he fucking killed it, Massimiliano Paligralia playing, um, Mike Starr, again, legend, really good, love him, 
um azu tv azu azu tiwa line um quartz and norman nodge in burger main room that's an interesting one isn't it so really there's only three djs playing in a burger main room weird isn't it i've never seen it that short panel bar four and then burger main room so they got three people playing so what are they all going to be playing like 12 hour sets or 10 hour sets shit um then what else you got here uh you got a reef night happening on the 15th um lena wilkins is playing again from what's that what was that place in fucking i've got that bar um salon de amateurs legend from salon de amateurs she's gonna be there on the following saturday the 16th you got this one burger club night you got barker uh blasher and alat again uk massive big up them Elisa b oscar molero oh renee weiss steffi's just <sighs> that's a hard lineup in it barker blasher and alat Elisa B, Oscar Molero, Rene Wise, Steffi, Zisco. You know how much I suck off Rene Wise, so that's definitely, you know, I'm getting on both knees for that one. Steffi playing, you know how much I love her and Oscar Molero. Like, honestly, that stone, I recommend everyone, if you haven't checked it out, please do. I think it's on the RT channel, but just check out his name. Put Stone Techno Festival or Stone, yeah, Stone Techno Festival. Oh my God, the, the, the recorded stream they did of him at that festival legitimately amazing i think i actually downloaded it. i think it's about three hours and i've been listening to it on my phone since it fucking releases it's absolutely phenomenal legitimately one of the best sort of these technology mixes i've heard in a long time incredible mixing incredible playing style everything's out of this world yeah stone techno 2024 rt concert oscar malero it's that three hours long that's a fucking sick lineup oh look at saw wow this is weird Christine and the Queens. So they've got a new name. I didn't know that. The, the, Christine, the band Christine and the Queens have been renamed to Raheem Redcar. Really? I had no idea that happened. When did that happen? Christine and the fucking Queens is an amazing, um, I do what you call it, an in, indie alternative band. Super, 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 super fun records and tracks and shit. Um, they, they're called now Raheem and the Queens. What is it called? Raheem and Redcar. Obviously, the best song in it ever. Girlfriend. Like, oh. I used to play that so much in my sets. I actually rinsed that fucking track, man. Um, uh, yeah, Chris, that album, Chris, is still banging on my lineup. Uh, La Vita Nova. Shit, they've got a new name. I didn't know they have a new name. Cool. They've got a new name. So they'll be sick to watch live. That's an actual... That lineup is incredible. That, that's probably one of the most balanced ones there. Um, then you've got, on Panel Bar, you've got Bashka, Cormac playing. One of the best disco DJs in the world. Cormac for me. He's fucking... He's like a force of nature. He's fucking phenomenal. Anytime I see Cormac playing on the lineup, I try to go. Gabriel Quateng, um, a big up her as well. She's sick. Jennifer Loveless, Natalie Serres, Paula Tape, Carrie Nation. Um, what else you got here? Earth Club Night happening. I'm not really too fond of that lineup. Um, 23rd, you've got Steph, Mandesessis, um, Alina Ta, Blanca, Chami, Francois X, who I like, Justin Perry, I like, Fadi Moham, live, nice, Avalon Emerson. Oh, she's not been on the lineup for a while, isn't it? That's gonna be good. People love Amla Avalon Emerson. I gotta be honest, like I I wasn't too fond of her making that pro, you know switch to uh, having a band and shit. But that album that she put out with that or under the new late moniker, I forgot what it's called, but whatever it was called, I remember listening to it. It was fucking good. Um, that was really good. It surprised me to be honest because I wanted to hate, but it was really fucking good. So big up Avalon Emerson. Um, who else you got here? Something called Galigos. Luzi, Manpower, Nicole Orgazon, she's sick, Stella Zerki as well, Hunger to Create Night, Curses is playing also, Big Up Curses, I love Curses, I actually got a new record out with them, what's his face, doesn't Curses have a new record out on Innervision I think, that just released recently, uh, Hamam playing as well, then the last club night of the month on the 30th is a really good one actually, Answer Code Request, DJ Rush, um, FR, JPLA, Leah Ochi, big up her, UK stand, well, not, you know, she's not from here, but, you know, she used to do a lot of nights here as well, Moritz Von, von Oldsworld, people love, Quelts are playing, Quelts gets a lot of love as well, Tasha just dropped a new album too, what Ninja Junior was loving, Benedict Fry in Panama, DJ Holographic, Gerdy Anson, my favourite, oh yeah, yo, Cathy the Jesus, Lakuti, Louis Vega, the legendary house DJ Louis Vega playing, wow, and producer, and Bauchhammer, so, and Baumecker and Bauchhammer and Tamo Sumo. 
So standout, 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 standout nights probably be the thirtieth. The standout night probably be the thirtieth for me. The last day. Um, another standout night for me will be the sixteenth to see that lineup of Oscar Malera, Renee Weiss, Steffi and Zesco, and Barker and Blasher and Alat and Lisa B. Oof, too good. Um, and of course, Christina and the Queens in the Saw. That's the third room, basically, where they do all the live shows and shit and all the bands and whatever play. And then obviously the biggest and the best lineup is obviously the first of the the first one of the month. It's fucking crazy. This one here on the second, Terence Fixima, Aurora Halau, Maron, Olivia Mendes, Face Vitale, Sterak, Vincent Newman, Virginia, Ed Davenport, Atep Kyle, Ezgi, Kiki and Lomo, Maria, M- Marie Monksteria, Monty Luke, Veraco Portable. Oof, too good. Too good. Too good. So, yeah, recommend you check it out. Um, link will obviously be available in the description, but you know where to find it. Bergam Program for November is there for you to see if you want. There for you to see if you want.